think that this one is gonna be relatively short since uh, despite all the drama not much really happened uh, if you have a look at it and that's why I started the groups um, I think the one big surprise is um, just from the rankings that Saudi Arabia is ahead of Egypt but that had no impact on the further tournament we always expected Uruguay ahead of Russia and we also always expected Spain uh, ahead of Portugal now the way it happened was super dramatic and I have a uh, my own video on that that you can listen to but per se nothing really happened um, we have Spain ahead of Portugal maybe we didn't expect Iran ahead of Morocco but after the results were going we always had Iran ahead of Morocco um, I will do a little preview for um, those two groups um, as I think uh, as we will see the three below it will be interesting whether there will be some gambling on the part of France and Croatia um, as we will see that France, if Argentina really wins, Argentina cannot come in first place. So um, France, it will be interesting to see whether they want to avoid Argentina. And similar for Croatia, um, I think they would be alright playing whoever they're playing. And then in quarterfinals, we'll see the matchup against Spain. So let's have a look at this tree. So at the moment it's projected that France will play the win against Portugal and Uruguay uh, and potentially here Argentina and that I, that I don't know if they want to gamble. Um, I think it would be right for France to uh, stay in first place because if you look at the lower round, let's assume Croatia stays in first place, which they probably will. They will play Croatia, which uh, is probably the least uh, palatable opponent and then you're playing against Spain so I don't think that this is what France really wants yes they would be in the tougher upper bracket but I think they would like the chances against both Uruguay and uh, Portugal for that reason I think France will go will make sure that they secure a win in the group and then it's all between Denmark and Australia but who knows it might end up differently so also no changes in the tree here um, everything is expected. The only place where the worst luck changes is with the top uh, teams for winning the World Cup. Brazil dropped slightly in Spain now that they're through. Uh, got a little bit uh, a higher chances of winning. Uh, it's actually within the reach of Brazil now. So uh, Germany and Spain flip-flopped. Portugal increased slightly uh, due to the uh, effect of qualifying, but the problem is, of course, that they are in a tougher branch. Um, Uruguay increased as well. That was to be expected. Well, Russia pretty much uh, decreased a little bit because now they pay, played a tough opponent. All the changes here, as I said, as always, don't pay too much attention to, uh, to them. The disqualified teams are here in italics and I sort them as the point standing are currently so that's why there are many changes that's why Saudi Arabia suddenly was rising um, as they uh, beat Egypt and now have uh, more points well that's how I project things to be going for now let me know what you thought and I will talk to you soon uh, the latest after group D and uh, Group C finishes. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.